Hello, welcome. Let's turn 3 sevenths into its decimal equivalent using long division. That just means we're going to divide 3, the numerator, by 7. And this actually does take a little while, so we're going to set a nice long bar here. And I think of 7 going into 30 first. So decimal point there. 7 goes into 30 four times, so 7 times 4 is 28. 30 minus 20, and I know it's not really 30, it's 3, but we're thinking of this on a proportional scale. So 3.0 uh, 3 minus 2.8, we can think of that also as 30 minus 28 and get a similar result here. So 7 uh, going into 2, well, we think of it as 20, and 7 goes into 20 twice, right? 7 times 2 is 14. 20 minus 14 is 6. We add our zero, keep going. Seven goes into 68 times. Seven times eight is 56. 60 minus 56 is four. We keep going with our zeros here, line them up. Seven goes into 45 times. Seven times five, 35. Okay, keep going. 40 minus 35 is five. And um, carry our zero here. Seven goes into 57 times, because seven times seven is 49. We subtract 50 and 49 to get 1. 7 goes into 10 one time, right? And we keep going. 7 times 1 is 7. Let's scroll down a little bit, sorry. And 7 times 1 is 7. If we subtract 10 minus 7, we get 3. And we can think, well, does 7 go into 30? Yeah, it goes into it. It goes into it four times. And what's starting to happen here, if you look, we are repeating digits already. This 4 was already written first. So you have this repeating chunk of digits beginning here. Now, you might not realize it's repeating. Right? You might not know this is happening. But if you keep going, if you keep doing this, you will get stuck in this infinite loops of 4, 2, 8, 5, 7, 1, over and over and over again. So I encourage you to keep going with it to see that, yes, 3 sevenths, if you write it as a decimal, equals 4, 2, 8, 5, 7, 1, repeating on and on and on and on forever and ever, which is really fascinating. Almost as fascinating as the pattern in sevenths that we'll share in a video um, that compares them side by side, 1 7th through 6 7th. All right, thanks.